Hi everyone, let's continue for our new article.js. So in this tutorial, I will teach you how to make our features image to the articles. We will do it in different ways. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to upload the image to the Firebase storage. And the Firebase storage will return a URL. And this URL will be our features image URL. And uh actually there's many ways such as we can make it to the base 64 uh string and store it in the file base and maybe we can use third parties api to upload our image in different uh image store services and return the url so uh but other method i will teach you maybe later and in this tutorial i will teach you how to upload the image to the file base storage so we go to our Firebase console and we click the storage. So in storage, which is very similar to the database, there is a file, there is a rules and usage. And when you click the rules, so uh, in the default rules, all the path have been set it true when the user is logged in. That means any logged in user can upload the file. So in later on, we will change these rules, but this time we keep it the rules here and we will first, we will create the article uh, folder for storing all the article uh, assets, such as the image and we will, the code will be generate our fi files for us. So we don't need to do too much thing in this console. So we go back to our code to see how you upload the image. So we first go to new article.js and we scroll down to the JSX here. And what we are going to do is create a new uh, from good. And this from good will be has a input for us to upload the image. So we just copy it and paste it here and firstly we will make the label is a uh, feature image and in here in the input so we change the input time we first delete the unnecessary things okay so we first change the type into file okay so uh, we only accept the type where it is image and we also assign the class name later on uh, we enter uh, image uploader we can edit it later and we have the uh, on chain method so this on check map on change method will be triggered when you uh select the file on your desktop or uh, your mobile phone. So in here we will call a method called upload image callback. So but before that we want to have the variable called upload state. So this upload state will be uh, receive a result of our upload image callback because we need to know whether our image is successfully uploaded to our Firebase storage. So in here, we, because we use a wake, so we need to make the function into a scene. Okay, so uh, after we have got the upload state is success, and we want to display the uploaded image in our new article.js. So we set the state. Uh, we first create new state, which is have feature 
image into true and uh, we will display our features image on the in the right hand bar so we also want to update our link to our article object so here in the article object we had the attribute called features image so in here we want to change it first we add the article and we use a spread operator to spread our existing article object because we want don't want to replace all the element in the all, uh, articles we just want to uh, add this for the features image and in here we want to use our upload state dot data dot link so later on we will define the data and the link object so the next step we will create the upload image callback method in here so we will pass the event object as the parameters and here we first return a new promise because we use a wake method and these things will be uh, wait for the server upload so we use the promise to the AC method and the next step we will use a variable called file to receive our selected file okay so the next step we were going to do is start uploading our image so how we can uh, upload our image so it's quite similar to our main.js what we are going to do is we call the firebase.filestore object and we can edit the path and uh, set or get the data from the file store so similar thing here we can uh, create a new variables create the db object on the top of the new article.js so we scroll up and in this time we want to make it to the storage reference which is equal to the firebase dot storage okay go scroll down back to our function and we can use this storage reference as the db object in the file store so we can add it here so firstly we will define the path where we need to store our file here so we can enter dot reference and dot child in the child method we were going to store a path so we can define whatever path here but i like to make it structural so we want to uh, type article and after stash we want to assign the render random file name to it otherwise uh, multiple file names will be uh, make the chaos so what we are going to do is we going to install the UUID package from the npm so firstly we go to our terminal and we type npm install uuid so this package uh, we can use it to generate our unique file names so after this package is installed so we go back to our uh, editor okay to generate our random file names is very easy so we scroll up here we import the UUID package so we import uh, v4 as UUID v4 because there are multiple package so we just enter this from UUID so 
we want to use this UUID package to generate uh, our file name. In go back to our reference path. So in here we enter plus UUID v4. This is a function. So after we call it, so our path will be generate which is uh, article slash and the random file names and this will be our file names here so after we have uh, do it the path and then we want to upload the file so upload file is very easy so we enter dot put and we can just enter file which is the file we have received it and after we have put the file and they will return a damn method so it will return a snapshot for us so the left shot will contain the metadata for our uploaded image and something uh, just like the uh, size of the image and the path will be stored it. so we just want to load the snapshot and see whether we can successful to upload the image but last but not least we first uh, we solve our promise in here so we set for the success to true and later on we will assign our path because we need to get the download path in this stage we haven't get the download path so uh, we first create the data and create the link object with empty first so later on we will uh, fill in for the download path so we go back to our Chrome to see whether we can upload successful okay we go back to our Chrome and I open the console to see whether we can success or errors so when we select the image and the image will be uh, uploaded instantly so let's try so we go here and we pick some of the image let's say this one so you can see the console will be return some parameters which is the snapshot what we call it so we will explain the snapshot we can see the metadata and the metadata there is uh, many details about our uploaded image and the path we store is the article and the UUID what we have created and there's a hash key and the file name which is the UUID but in here we didn't receive our download link so we need to call for our storage reference again to get the download link so we go back to our code to edit okay if we want to get the download link we need to use the storage reference again so but before that we need to move the UUID generation in the previous line of code because we need to uh, use this file name again so we create a variable called file name and we assign this file name in here and we will reuse this file name to get the download link so remember we have to do the snapshot in here we will want to get the download link so how it works so firstly we need to create a variable called download url and here we want to call our storage reference again and in here we will use our reference and child and we use the same path as we stored the image and but the last thing is different we call the get download url method after we call it and the download url will be returned into the download url variables so we need to use our wake because we need to wait for the server when you use a wake, we need to use a sim method. So the flow is that. 
okay so uh after we get the tunnel name so what is this tunnel like tunnel link like so let me load the tunnel link to you so to see what the tunnel link look like so we go back to our account again okay we first clean for our console and we select the image again so we wait also we can see our console will be load our download link okay after we will return our promise and we will receive our download link and we will assign the download link to our article and features image attribute so and the next step we want to display our uploaded image to the user so we first uh have the logical checking to check whether there is a features image uploader if the features image is true and we will display the image tag to the user and we will set the source will be the this source date article and features image and if this not that means there's a low uploaded image and we'll set it to empty so we go back to our Chrome to see what is the final result okay we go back to our Chrome again and we select the image so we select this image and we wait for the upload after the image is uploaded the image will be displayed for us but this time the image is too large so uh, we go back to our IDE to make it fixed it so fix this is very simple so we assign a css class for the feature image so we go to our new article module to css and we set the width into 100 percent and the overflow is hidden okay so that's all for fixing the bus so we go if we go to a chrome again and we can now upload our article with the feature image so so here we can assign uh, the title to and content to with a uh, bold and we set the publish to true and we select the image uh, we select this image and wait for the upload and after the image is uploaded you can see our uploaded image in here and we will click the submit button and the image will be submitted so when we go to our firebase console and we refresh it and we go to our storage you can see our article folders is created and our image is here and we go to the our database and you can see our latest article will be here so if we go to our home page and you can see our image is here so thanks for your watching in the next tutorial I will teach you how to edit the existing article. Thank you. Curiosity is a self learning platform with knowledge based recommendation systems, providing a personalized learning experience for the self learner and the school students. People could share their knowledge and exchange for the rewards. We are doing the next generation learning tools for the next generation of learners.